Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this 3D phone hologram effect in Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. First let's take a look at the original shots. For the first scene I simply filmed myself holding a phone with green screen background. It's also important to have the hand movements planned ahead and know where the hologram elements will be placed. In the second scene I put a camera on a tripod and recorded a shot with a phone pretending to push the hologram further into the distance. Then I separately recorded a dog jumping. When I reverse the shot I can make it look like the dog lands on the ground and stays in the position. Now that we have these shots we can start editing. Before that I want to quickly mention Envato element. It's an amazing tool for all creators, offering a huge library with tons of creative assets and presets. They offer great stock footage, awesome After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, VFX assets, intros, transitions, motion graphics, as well as sound effects and music. It allows you to download unlimited amount of all these assets just for a single price and you can cancel it anytime. If you are a filmmaker it will definitely save you a lot of time. Make sure to check it out, there is a link in the description down below. Now we can open up After Effects. Let's begin with the first scene. I already placed the shot on the timeline. First I want to replace the screen, so we need to track the phone. Search for Mocha AE, apply it to the layer and open it up. Choose the Explain tool and draw a shape around the screen. Then you can change a few settings like the pixels used for tracking and also enable to track perspective. Next we can start tracking. Once that is done, click this icon to show the planar surface. And adjust it to match the perspective of the phone screen. You can also enable this grid which makes it easier to see the tracked surface. Next save the file and close Mocha. Back in After Effects create a new solid. In the Mocha effect under tracking data click create track data. Change the export option to corner pin with motion blur and choose the solid layer for export. Then apply the data. To make the solid match the screen I use the transform effect. Next we need to get a finger on top of the solid. So duplicate the original shot and move it above the solid layer. Use the key light effect to remove the green screen. Now we can place on the screen anything we want. As our next step, let's 3D track the phone, so we can start placing the hologram elements around the phone. To make the 3D tracking easier, we can use the mask from Mocha. Duplicate the original layer, and under Matte, click Create AE Masks. As you can see, we are now left only with the phone. Before we track this, we need to pre-compose this layer. Right click, choose Precompose and make sure to click Move all attributes into the new comp. Then hit Track Camera. Let After Effects do its thing. And once that is done, select a few track points and click Set Ground Plane and Origin and create Solid and Camera. As the first element, I want to use this green screen shot. So I created a mask and keyed out the green screen with a key light effect. Now make the layer 3D by clicking right there. Then adjust the position and scale of the layer. To make this look like a hologram we need to add a couple of effects. First the Venetian blinds. Set the transition completion to somewhere around 20%, direction to 90 degrees, increase the width and maybe add a little feather. 
In After Effects there is also a pretty good preset that we can use, which is called Bad TV one Essentially it adds some distortion and noise, including the Venetian blinds effect, but you can delete this one since we already applied that effect before. Next add a tint effect and choose a color you would like to use for the hologram. Then change the blending mode to Add. Since this should be a hologram, we need some glow. So add a glow effect to this layer and play around with the settings. You can also add multiple duplications of the glow effect with different settings. To make the hologram stand out more, I darken the background shot. Furthermore, we can add some flickering by animating the opacity. For this I used a very basic wiggle expression. Hold Alt and click the stopwatch icon. Type in wiggle. The first number defines the frequency and the second the amplitude or amount of opacity. In addition we can add some scan lines over the hologram. For this create a new white solid and create a line with a rectangular mask. Also feather it out a bit. To make the line move up and down, go to position, right click and choose separate dimensions. Then again use a wiggle expression on the Y position. You can also duplicate the layer and pre-compose it together. Then duplicate the hologram layer and use it as an alpha mat. Additionally, I decided to add even more distortion using the turbulent displays effect with animated evolution. Next we can add some animation by keyframing the position and orientation. To make the motion smooth you can easy ease the keyframes. Or adjust the curve in the graph editor. Also don't forget to enable motion blur. To create a light shining on the edges of the phone, I used a shape layer. Made it 3D. And added the CC light burst effect. To get the finger on top of the light rays, I duplicated the original layer, moved it on top of the shape layer, used the key light effect to make a selection of the finger and set the shape layer as an alpha mat. Then I added another element into the scene and copy pasted the same hologram effect on it. In the final shot you can also see this spinning 3D dock animation. I made this with the Element 3D plugin. I imported a dock 3D model and changed the mode to wireframe or point cloud. And also under output changed the polygon type to point cloud. Then I animated the rotation to make it spin around and added some glow. Next I worked on adding some other elements like this edge selection.
to add something on the phone screen, simply pre-compose the track solid, which we created in the beginning, and choose leave all attributes in the comp. Then you can place whatever you want into the pre-comp and make it fit the comp size. And this is what we get after all those steps. Let's also briefly see how the second scene was created. On the bottom I placed a shot of me holding a phone in hand. On top of that I placed the reverse shot of the jumping dog and created a feathered mask around it. To make it blend even better I keyed out the wall. Then I duplicated the same shot and trimmed it to the point where the dog lands on the ground. I used some keying and masking to isolate the dog from the background. With the dog masked out, I apply the same hologram effects we used before. And animated the opacity of this layer to go from 100 to 0%. Additionally, I animated the scale and position at the beginning of the transition as well. Next I track the position of the phone with a simple point tracker. And apply the tracking data to a null object. Then I place the small dog hologram above the phone and parented it to the null object. Finally, I animated it to blend with the second dog hologram. Top it all off with some bluish color grading and fake camera movement. And we are done. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.